Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Stardust channel, where we explore hidden gems. Today, we're taking you to the Latin American country of Brazil, a rich place in culture, history, and natural beauty. Brazil has something for everyone, from pristine beaches to incredible sights and activities. Let's dive into all the things that make Brazil a must-visit destination. Experience the world right here on the Stardust channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stardust channel. Today we are bringing you to one of the most beautiful and vibrant Latin American countries in the world. Brazil is famous for its stunning beaches, iconic landmarks, and vibrant nightlife. Whether you're looking for a relaxing beach holiday or an action-packed adventure, Brazil has something for everyone. So sit back, relax and let us take you on a virtual tour of this amazing Latin America country in this three-part series of Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience. Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience part one. One of the world's most fascinating countries, there are so many things to do in Brazil that adventure-hungry travelers are spoiled for choice. Whether you want to hike in the jungles, lie on the beach or dance in the streets, you can do that here. From tranquil beaches to vibrant cities to lush rainforests, the country spans a huge variety of landscapes, and as a result, there are so many places to visit in Brazil. If you're not already captivated by its scenery and biodiversity, you'll be hooked by the culture. There are energy and a love of life that runs through every aspect of Brazilian culture. Samba dancing, drumming and carnival, indigenous and Portuguese influences, mouth-watering food, all of these aspects and more combine to create an atmosphere that you'll want to stay in forever. And, to put it plainly, Brazil loves to party. You'll have heard of Carnival, of course, a cacophony of music, dancing, and general joy. There are also diverse festivals going on throughout the year, great nights out in the cities and towns, not to mention just any quick drink turning into dancing at dawn. So, what are some of the best things to do in Brazil? With so much on offer, how can you narrow it down? We've got some suggestions. Rio de Janeiro world famous for its Copacabana and Ipanema beaches, Christ the Redeemer statue and wild carnival, Rio de Janeiro is absolutely top of the list of things to do in Brazil. We can't pretend it's a quiet place, but it's got a relaxed, carefree attitude that is intoxicating for travelers. Otherwise known as the Cidade Marvelijosa, marvelous city, here you'll find lush forests and mountains circling the city while the beach acts as the city's backyard. You can hike, surf, sail or rock climb, or just chill on the sands, if you'd rather. It's a stunning landscape for a city and you'll never stop appreciating the beauty. In a city this, well, marvelous, it's hard to get past the superlatives and decide exactly what to do, so to help, we have put together a list of the top things to do in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The rich and varied history means there's plenty to discover among Rio's myriad attractions. That is, if you want to leave the endless fun of the bars and the beach. Arriving at a festival time means you'll soak up even more of the joyful celebration, whether it's a big football match, carnival or weekend samba parties. New Year is also a pretty spectacular time to enjoy all that makes Rio special. Fernando de Noronha The tropical oasis of Fernando de Noronha is in an entire league of its own. The isolated tip of a submerged ocean volcanic, the archipelago of Fernando de Noronha, lies 271 miles, 350 kilometers, off Brazil's northeast coast and consists of 21 islands. A UNESCO World Heritage Site with a sensitive ecosystem, tourist numbers here are restricted to around 450 to 500 people per day. But the lucky few that make it here are duly rewarded. Fernando de Noronha has everything you could want from an unforgettable island getaway. Picturesque scenery, majestic seascapes, fine white sand beaches, bountiful diving, animated snorkeling, turquoise waters, and oh so much more. Only one island in the chain is inhabited with a population of around 5,000 people. Otherwise, most of the rest of this paradisaical retreat is left to the seabirds, reptiles, turtles, and exotic marine life. A nature lover's paradise, Fernando de Noronha can be compared to Fiji, an arresting beach island seen straight out of a Hollywood film set. Iguazu Falls. As well as fascinating cities, Brazil also has some of the most stunning natural wonders in the world, the awe-inspiring Iguazu Falls are among these. There are 275 separate drops along the 2.7 kilometers of the falls, which separate Argentina and Brazil. From the Brazilian side, you go to the Igaçu National Park to enjoy the spectacle. 
there's an intricate series of footpaths and walkways that enable visitors to get up close to the natural beauty and on the Brazilian side, there's a long pathway along the canyon. A must-see for everyone is Devil's Throat, a narrow chasm that takes half of the river's flow along, you can imagine the power and noise of the water there. Get a panoramic view of the falls from the trail or splurge on a helicopter ride for the birds eye perspective. Stay in the nearby town of Foz de Iguaçu so you can get up early to beat the heat and the crowds, then enjoy being mesmerized by the majesty of this remarkable place. Recife and Olinda Recife and Olinda are sister cities on Brazil's northeast coast that stand within sight of each other. Both started life as colonial cities under Portuguese rule, exploiting the vast richness of the New World, but over the centuries Recife has pulled ahead while Olinda has kept its small-town charm. Recife, the capital of Parabuco State, has a booming population and everything from charming canals and vividly painted colonial buildings to glistening skyscrapers, palm-fringed beaches, and exuberant nightlife. An energetic and inspiring city, Recife also has plenty of entertainment and cultural attractions, more than a dash of grit and growing traffic problems. In contrast, Olinda, just a short bus trip to the north, has very much maintained its colonial charm and clings to a slower pace of life. Positioned on a hillside overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is an artsy counterpart to Recife with galleries, workshops, Baroque churches, convents, monasteries, and wonderfully preserved houses and manors. It is rare in the world to find two destinations that contrast and complement each other so completely. On their own, each would be worth a visit, but together, they become one of the absolute top highlights of Brazil. Linsais Moran Hences National Park a must-visit destination for anyone fascinated by the natural landscape, this 1,550-square-kilometer national park is a spectacular area filled with dunes, lagoons, and beaches. Its undulating dunes give the park its name Dashland Sice means bedsheets and these expanses really do look like sheets draped across the land. The rains between May and September get filtered by the sand to create incredibly clear blue lakes between the hills of sand. You can choose whether you navigate the area on foot, on horseback or in a car, Whatever you do, you won't regret making the effort to come here. It's got an almost otherworldly quality, making a dramatic impact. It's easy to see why it is called one of the most beautiful places in Brazil, and people make the considerable effort to get here. The most convenient way to explore is to stay at Barreirinhas on the river although if you don't mind heading somewhere more remote, Santo Amaro and Atens are more peaceful bases. Parque Nacional de Chapada Diamantina an expansive national park in eastern Brazil, Chapada Diamantina attracts adventurous tourists looking for nature, hiking, colonial wonders, and off-the-beaten-track experiences. And boy, do they find it here! An almost untouched wonderland of cascading waterfalls, intrepid hiking, and panoramic views, the entire park sits atop an otherworldly 41,751 square kilometers, 16,120 square miles. Plateau bounded by cliffs in central Bahia, the most famous attraction is the Fumaça Waterfall, one of the tallest waterfalls in Brazil, which at 340 meters tall evaporates in a mist before even reaching the ground. Another famous highlight is the cauldron-like Devil's Pool, with its deep black water and sinister history, or the enormous sandstone and quartz Lapau Cave. Parque Nacional de Chapada Diamantina offers everything from day hikes to multi-day journeys. The old colonial mining towns of Lenzois and Mucuj are popular bases for exploring the park and offer cobblestone streets, outdoor cafes and a cute range of posadas, a boutique in that provides a more intimate experience than your traditional hotel. Oru Predu If you're tired of the megacities yet still want to experience town life in Brazil, Oru Predu is the place to go. It's one of several colonial towns in the state of Minas Gerais that date back to the 18th century gold rush and by far the most beautiful. It's not just historically important for the gold mining but also for being the setting for the country's first independence movement. That is probably why they made it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you have traveled to places like Lisbon, you'll really be able to see the influence of Portugal on Ouro Preto. In fact, Ouro Preto actually has some of the best preserved Portuguese colonial architecture with few signs of modern urban development, unlike Macau. Sure it might not be that easy to get to, but the best places never are and you will be justly rewarded with a fairy tale town like no others. There's so much joy here in getting lost in the narrow, cobbled, steep streets, not to mention you'll have thighs of steel by the time you're done. And the views once you get to a vantage point are incredible. 
It's also one of the more artistic things to do in Brazil with a range of art galleries and cultural centers showing off the Mineiro art. Ilha Grande. Do you dream of cocktails at sunset? White sand under your toes and the sound of waves crashing on the beach? A stress-free location away from chaos where no cars are allowed, prices are low, and your biggest worry will be acai or coconut for lunch? Well then, do we have the island for you? Ilha Grande is a fabulous tropical island located only a few hours bus and boat trip away from Rio de Janeiro on Brazil's stunning southeast coastline. Yes, this could be all yours, gorgeous blue skies, empty beaches, and that tempting ocean. It's a natural paradise with 99% of the island being covered in natural Atlantic rainforest, only one small town and a series of paths crisscrossing the dense vegetation leading to deserted beaches. Yes, it sounds like heaven, and that's because it probably is. Then there is the thriving, but laid-back, nightlife scene, incredible sunsets, fantastic snorkeling, funky monkeys, range of affordable accommodation islands, and abundance of caipirinhas. Most people who travel here end up extending their stay, but it's hard to know beforehand if you will like it, and how long you will need, so we have put together a more comprehensive guide to things to do in Ilha Grande to help you fall in love with this magnificent place. Carnival from secluded natural beauty to wild and wonderful festivities with a cacophony of noise and color. An annual festival held in February in the run-up to Lent, this is a time where Brazilian cities let loose with parades, music, and dancing. A lot of dancing. While the Rio Carnival is the most famous, you can go to any city in Brazil at this time and experience the best party you've ever been to. The entire county celebrates Carnival and unifies for almost a week of non-stop partying. In the southeast region you'll hear a lot more samba, in the northeast, more frevo and maracutu. Whatever the music and wherever you are, shine your sequins and get ready for spectacle galore. Benito Freshwater snorkeling in heavenly Benito one of the best kept secrets in Brazil, though its popularity is growing. Benito is an ecotourism hub in Mato Grosso do Sul state in southern Brazil. The encompassing area has garnered a reputation for its crystal-clear rivers, huge, stalactite-covered cavern, and a bounty of colorful fish. Located on the edge of the Great Amazon Basin, Benito is a mirror into the underworld, similar to the Great Cenotes of Tulum and Cuba. While unassuming on the surface, there is a reason why Benito is named after the Portuguese for beautiful. While snorkeling in the magical waterways that end in shallow, and warm, pools as clear as glass is the main highlight. Benito is also the jumping-off point for expeditions into the Pantanal region, filled with jaguars, boa constrictors, and colorful birds. Then there are the river beaches on clear water lakes, zip-lining adventures, paddle boarding, scuba diving, and fantasy waterfalls. An aquarium come to life, Benito is a jungle-laden paradise with just enough ecotourism operators to make life easy, yet not enough to destroy what makes this spot so enchanting. So we hope you enjoy this video and experience the magic of this vibrant country. For yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave comments for more amazing video content, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to watch part 2 Brazil Uncovered, the best places to explore and activities to experience. We greatly appreciate each one of you, and thank you for watching.